finished with Dr. A. K. Srivastava, and I consider him to be custodian, a real custodian of the most exhaustive dairy data in the country. So I am a great fan of yours, and okay. always relish your data and and use it everywhere wherever I get you know opportunity. So sir, first question is that currently is lot much is being talked about milk not being a healthy food option. There are three statements which are being used normally. Milk is not healthy. Milk is not safe. Milk is not, or dairy is not sustainable. So I would like to limit my question to you on this part where milk is not healthy. As an authority on the subject, kindly share the importance of milk as a nutritional backbone of human life during different life stages. And my request is, sir, because we uh, I can say that um, whatever you said that milk is not good as far as nutrition is concerned. This is all wrong things. Milk is powerhouse of the nutrient and there is no alternative of the milk nutrition in our food. I always say that our crop sector, wheat, rice, they can provide the food security as far as quantity is concerned. But as far as nutrition is concerned, it will come only from the livestock products and dairy is more important in that one. So we can say that milk is a wholesome, complete food. It is like a one-stop shop for all important and for every single nutrients that body needs in human beings. Let us, let us be very clear that it is a one-stop shop which is having all nutrients. The composition of nutrition in milk is so complex that it is the most widely studied food, most widely. And there is no contraindication. And most consumed food items Bovine milk is most consumed food items. Not only that, milk is an excellent source of all nutrient of concern, which is under consumed by majority of the population, like vitamin B12, vitamin K, calcium, vitamin D, and which are present, which are not present in many of the food items. For 20, out of 22 essential nutrients, Milk is the food which is having 18 nutrients and that too in abundance. What is lacking in meat? Milk, it is only vitamin C, fiber, vitamin B6 and iron. So in that respect, we can say that it is near to complete food. Next, please. <clears throat> now, I have taken four uh, section, milk protein, fat, minerals, and nutrients, and um, vitamins. So milk protein, if we see the quality of milk protein, excellent source of quality protein. And what you talk that essential amino acid, I can boost that milk is only food, which is having all nine essential amino acids, which body requires. Maybe methionine, lysine, phenylalanine, threonine, whatever nine essential amino acids we are having, it is present in the milk. Second come branch chain amino acids, for example, isoleucine and valine. And this isoleucine and valine is present in abundance in milk as well as whey protein. And it is very effective when we talk about the age related muscle loss. So it does not allow the elder people, in elder people, to lose the muscle. Casein, which we say that it is a good protein of the milk, in addition to the protein, it helps in the absorption of calcium and phosphorus and other minerals from the GIT. So what I, I, I want to emphasize that it is not the only nutrient, it is the complete food matrix of the milk, which helps each and every nutrients for its absorption, for its bioavailability. Recent findings of our research has confirmed that consuming milk lead to greater whole body muscle mass, greater bone mass, better physical activity in, in, uh, in uh, um, adults. So, you know, means all three, either you talk about the whole body muscle mass or bone mass or physical activity, it is all in the milk. One thing we should remember that we should say that this protein is the best when it is having the good digestibility or when it is having better protein efficiency ratio. Milk is having 100% digestibility and 3.2 out of 4 protein efficiency ratio. More than milk, 
it is only egg protein which is having better protein efficiency ratio so as far as protein part is concerned it is the best protein for body building next for fat we are having next slides please yes fat is always remain in controversy as far as milk consumption is concerned so i have two slides for this notable source of energy with all fat soluble vitamin are present in the milk vitamin a vitamin d vitamin a vitamin vitamin e vitamin k and lot of bioactive lipids bioactive fatty acids means they are having more therapeutic effects it is one of the most complex among all natural fats containing about 400 different types of fatty acids and many are bioactives among all these fatty acids if we see in the milk 4 to 5% are natural occurring cla conjugated linoleic acids and i tell you that this conjugated lino linoleic acids are having a lot of health benefits including reducing the heart um, diseases risk of other diseases so 4% of the total fat is cla conjugated linoleic acids there was a recent study in 145 latino children and it was found that consumption of full fat milk lowered the risk of childhood obesity as you also said so it reduces the obesity in another study 18000 middle aged elderly women it, it was studied that milk fat was found to reduce the weight gain so it is reducing the weight it is reducing the obesity it is a good quality of the fat milk fat next please let us remove the, all the uh, myths next slides please in addition to that most important point you know is fat globules membrane if there is a fat globules in the milk then there is a one membrane which is surrounding this globules and this fat globule membrane which we call mfgm has unique structure it is composed of lipids and protein and that surround the fat globules and this fat globules membrane is having lot of bioactive compounds phospholipids glycolipids glycoproteins and these are responsible to form the blood group when we say that we are having o plus a plus a minus o minus like this so this is the responsible because of the fat globule membrane not only this milk fat globule membrane is required in the children for structural and functional development and maturation of the gut be sure that if child is devoured with the milk the gut will not be developed fully not only that it will also help in shaping up of the microbiota gut microbiota and we all know that in our gut microbiota there are 100000 million of the gut microbiota having pathogenic and healthy healthy microbiota are being shaped out by this mf gm and in an extensive study we found that who consumed full fat milk and dairy products have less belly fat less tissue inflammation and 62% lower risk of diabetes to type 2 diabetes these are all science findings so we should emphasize that all the myths about the fat should be removed here it is important to note that milk fat is not consumed in isolation why they say that why milk fat is so good because milk fat is not consumed only in isolation milk and dairy food are containing protein calcium magnesium phosphorus and many other nutrients which are having agonist antagonist action to each other and helping modulating the pharmacology the absorption the bioavailability of each and every biomolecules third slides next slides come to the minerals i am taking up only those minerals and vitamins which are important and which are not present in other food milk is the very important source of calcium magnesium phosphorus iodine potassium selenium zinc name any minerals it is present in the milk name any vitamin it is present in the milk it is not only the best dietary source of the calcium but it is having 100% viability uh, you know i always quote that when i was director in dri then then one company was 
making advertisement that if you add if you don't add product a in the milk then calcium will go west because calcium will not be absorbed i represented with scientific proof and i compel them to withdraw that advertisement from the television because milk is having calcium phosphorus vitamin d exactly in the same ratio which leads 100% viability of calcium so this is a good point in 2020 we um, find a detailed research and which linked the beneficial impact of milk in management of depression because milk and vitamin d the ratio in which it is present in the milk it helps in the release and maintenance of mood elevator hormones that we call as serotonin so in the case of depression in america milk is linked that okay if you are consuming the milk then you will not be patient of the depression magnesium present in the milk it helps in the muscle heart and immune system so that it works regulate uh, efficiently it also regulate the neurotransmitters release and it elevates the mood and also it pump the sugar from blood to the muscle so it helps in the diabetes also so that more and more sugar is moved from blood to the muscle where it is metabolized so all these good points we are having with the minerals present in the milk last is vitamins um i have taken only those vitamins which are present in the milk in abundance and not present in most of the food for example if we if we see pro vitamin a carotenoids which is a precursor of vitamin a and lot of work has been done that if child is devoid vitamin a or milk in the childhood then there is a problem in the vision it helps in good health of skin heart lung and also improve the vision riboflavin b2 what we call for which milk is the biggest natural source no other natural food is having this much content of riboflavin riboflavin which milk is having and what is the job of riboflavin that it converts the food into atp so if you are eating wheat rice all food and not taking the milk then it will not be converted into atp it will not be converted into energy riboflavin is also important for production of rbcs so it can it also helps to take care of the anemia to enhancing the blood cells rbcs erythrocytes next in next vitamin is vitamin b12 it keeps our nerve cell healthy it prevent the megaloblastic anemia and it helps in the synthesis of dna dna very important how we can say that it helps in the diabetes because it is rich source of vitamin k2 and what vitamin k2 does vitamin k2 improves the insulin sensitivity and reduce the fat accumulation insulin sensitivity means the receptors which are present on the tissues in the fat it improves its efficiency to combined with the insulin so if insulin combined with the receptor so more and more um, sugar will be metabolized it also transfer calcium from blood to bone so it is good thing that more and more calcium will go to the bone it will not remain in the blood only then milk uh, is a good source of niacin that is the vitamin b3 it is one of the eight water soluble vitamins and what it does it lowers the low density cholesterol ldl that is the bad cholesterol and increases the good cholesterol hdl it in decreases the cholesterol triglycerides and as such the it boosts the brain function help to manage the arthritis it also synthesizes the stress reducing hormone in adrenal gland and its deficiency friends can cause uh, dementia disease and skin disease has been proven in uh, science next please this is the last slides that recently uh, uh, clinical course, health benefits of milk nutrients yeah. Yeah. Uh, in it has been reported that yes osteoarthritis of knee has no cure and is absolutely established but simultaneously it has also been established that drinking milk reduces the progression of the disease this is the report of american college of 
Rheumatology Journal, Arthritis Care and Research. Second point, which has been recently, uh, recently published, that milk contain one amino acid, that is the tryptophan, which is converted into 5-hydroxytryptamine. And this 5-hydroxytryptamine is hormone of mood, sleep, appetite, pleasure, and societal bondage. When we say mother-child bondage, this is because of this hormone, 5-hydroxytryptamine, 5-HT. It is present in the milk because it is having tryptophan, it is converted. The lactium, which is a milk casein hydrolysate, it reduces the blood pressure, stresses the anxiety, dilates the blood, press, blood vessels, and reduces the cortisol, which is a stress hormone. This is the recent guidelines by American Heart Association. They have given detailed guidelines about the bovine milks. And they said that bovine milk is as healthy for drink for kids as mother milk. They have created a platform and the name of the platform is Healthy Drink, Healthy Kids. And they prove that both human, that is the mother, and bovine milk for kids. Equally good, mother milks and bovine milks. They also recommended that bovine milk for aged people and adult people, they must consume the um, bovine milk, adults people, aged people. But simultaneously, they have warned the use of plant-based beverages. So what I want to summarize, summary of the last slides, that milk is full of nutrition, nutritional, nutraceuticals, and pharmacologically active molecules. Let us remove all myths about milk food. Let us create awareness about facts and science of the milk nutrition. The nutrition of initial 1,000 days of a child is most important nutrition. If a child is not provided good nutrition during initial 1,000 days, the child will remain epigenetically predisposed with syndrome X disease, which include diabetes, hypertension, and dyslipidemia. And science has acknowledged that in this 1,000 days, milk is the most important nutrition. No child should be devoured for milk in the initial 1,000 days. Last point, that plant-based beverages should never be named as a milk or even milk analog or dairy analog, as these cannot mimic the food matrix of the milk. They can mimic anything, but they cannot mimic the food matrix of the milk with fortification. The definition of milk is well defined. These are creating confusion in the mind of consumers. Let yes. us remove this confusion. Sure, Thank you very much sure. for giving me this much time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.